Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Muhammad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from His Majesty King Maha Vajra Long Khorn of Thailand on the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from President of Uzbekistan Shaukat Mizri Yoyev on the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the President of South Korea Moon Jae-in on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Botswana President Mokwitsi Masisi over the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Prime Minister and Acting President of the Kyrgyzstan, Sadr Jabarov, over the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He extended deepest condolences to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Malaysian Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa instructed the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to investigate the tragic death of three sanitation workers whilst undertaking, undertaking maintenance work at the Bani Jamra area and determine compliance with safety standards with an early report to be submitted directly to the Cabinet. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Bar Rashid Zayani, participated in the opening session of the Third Ministerial to, to Advance Religious Freedoms Remotely, organized by the Polish Ministry of Foreign Affairs to combat extremism and terrorism that threatens the security and stability of the region. With the participation of foreign ministers from around the world, Dr. Zayani delivered a speech in which he affirmed the importance of enhancing the international community's efforts to enhance the protection of freedom of religious and faith. He added that Bahrain has always been a country of coexistence that welcomes all religions and cultures and that the vision of His Majesty the King always aims to achieve peace and stability on the local and international levels. Dr. Zayani added that His Majesty believes that ignorance is the enemy of peace and the way to achieve peace is through coexistence, respect and enhance the culture of dialogue. He expressed pride in signing the Abraham Agreement which uh, which is a declaration of peace with Israel. He added that the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and the Office of the Special Envoy of the U.S. Department of State signed a memorandum of understanding to enhance joint cooperation, develop and implement programs that promote respect, mutual understanding, and peaceful coexistence between different people, states, and religions. The health condition of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa did not deter him from following up on government work and the efforts of all ministries. More on this report. Despite the health conditions of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, he was keen on following up on government work following his treatment trip to Germany, especially during the coronavirus pandemic. He did not rest assured until he supervised the work of all state institutions, which stems from his concern for the affairs of government work and implementation of the directives and visions of His Majesty the King. Despite his illness, the late prince was keen during his last months to receive ministers and officials to follow up on the latest developments in the kingdom, as he directed many ministries to resolve issues and follow up on developments to ensure that government work is carried out optimally. The late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman was keen on following up on all that concerns citizens, especially during the pandemic, which is evident through government efforts that contributed to alleviating its impact. Upon receiving executive authority members, the late prince repeatedly emphasized the government's keenness on developing services that support the kingdom's efforts in all fields. He asserted that Bahrain has managed to protect the community and its health through the unlimited efforts of medical cadres working in the front lines, whom he stated had raised citizens and residents' awareness easily and clearly. The late prince affirmed during his meetings that Bahrain is capable of overcoming all challenges and of continuing the efforts of progress and raising the status of the country. 
and the people of Bahrain will strive to fulfill his aspirations and visions for the interest of the country. The late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa was always keen on meeting officials and citizens in different majlises and in different occasions. More on this report. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa always had the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people's interest at the top of his priorities. He truly dedicated his life to serving the homeland and its people. His Royal Highness was keen on meeting the citizens and visiting their majlises, as well as communicating with them listening to their issues, and won't rest until he meets their needs. He was the father of all citizens, a prominent leader and a role model on the local, regional, and global levels. The Kingdom of Bahrain expresses great sadness after losing one of its greatest men, who was a protector of the homeland and the citizens. The people of Bahrain bid farewell to the late prince with deep sadness, after a march full of generosity, sincerity, and loyalty, and the love of the homeland and loyalty to the causes of the Arab and Islamic nations. He was a true role model who offered many lessons in wise humanitarian diplomacy and a history of success, leadership, and distinction in keenness to elevate the Bahraini citizen and the service of mankind. The late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa was always keen on conducting field visits to all areas and villages in Bahrain to provide development services that meet the needs of citizens through vital projects within the framework of the development march led by His Majesty the King. More on this report. Fulfilling the best living standards for citizens has always been the top priority of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The issues of citizens were the focus of His Royal Highness's concerns. He was always keen on achieving the aspirations of citizens and seeking their satisfaction with the services provided by the government. His Royal Highness always personally followed up on development and all projects in the kingdom to serve the people of Bahrain. Through the weekly held cabinet meetings, the late prince was keen to follow up on the housing and development situation in the kingdom, to get closely acquainted with the stages of the development, construction and housing process in the kingdom, as he always directed to prioritize the interests of Bahraini citizens and provide them with an appropriate environment, which affirms that the development and stability of the Bahraini citizen is the government's priority. The late Prime Minister always stressed the importance of providing services and meeting the needs of citizens to ensure a decent life and social stability. These efforts were reflected in the thousands of housing requests and many development and services projects throughout the Kingdom and implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of the government to achieve further guarantees of social stability according to the highest standards. During the past years, the late prince continued his field trips to governorates to oversee the conditions of citizens and closely follow up on their affairs. During those visits, His Royal Highness was keen on listening to citizens directly regarding their situations, needs and aspirations. The late prince had a record full of achievements in all fields, which made him the leading and pioneering personality who raised the name of the Kingdom of Bahrain in all Gulf, regional and international forums, and made him a model to be emulated in the world.